What's going on, people? Welcome back to another episode of the Fantasy Football Busters podcast. Today is Tuesday, December 6th. My name is Will, and finally joining me again today is my lovely co-host, Eric. We missed you so much. Eric, how you feeling today, brother? <laughs> I appreciate the kind words. I'm feeling a whole lot better. Still not quite 100%. I don't, I don't know what was going on with me, man. It was, it was some combination of uh, probably the flu and like pneumonia or something. I was having trouble breathing. It was crazy crazy but uh, i'm good I'm ready to go very happy to be back on here with you uh to talk some football hell yeah man we missed you last week was a little rough but now we're back into having some fun. no dude <laughs> you killed it in the solo pods you were looking great man nah man i'm just glad to have my partner back bro <laughs> yeah. but like eric, like eric said week 13 we're gonna get into some news and injuries for the week keep you guys updated as we fucking right there bro we're at fantasy almost at fantasy playoffs almost there some people are there depending just, on your league rules yeah a week away just about man yeah, this is crazy we are in the thick of it oh man but um yeah we're gonna go ahead and get into it and start off with our first piece of news coming out of baltimore uh with mr lamar jackson he's uh speculated to have a sprain in his pcl and his knee uh the average return time for injuries like this is two to four weeks but john harbaugh is calling him week to week but they're saying he's unlikely to play this Sunday, so it's looking like the Tyler Huntley show uh, may continue going into this week. Uh, what are you thinking about that one, Eric, or at least the outlook for fantasy for this one? Yeah, even prior to the injury, he was kind of struggling, um, wasn't really producing much for fantasy. This team overall um, was really having a tough time these past couple weeks. They barely edged out a victory over just an abysmal Broncos team, 10-9. to um it was a terrible game but as far as his return um you know I, I saw some of the injury doctors on twitter and stuff like that speculating two to four weeks is a good return timetable we've seen other guys with mcl injuries like elijah mitchell uh who's gonna miss way more time than that more like mm -hmm. six to eight um so it seems like it's a bit more mild and also potentially just because of his position yeah being a quarterback maybe that'll speed up his return a little bit yeah and then with that being said, do you think Tyler Huntley is worth an ad this late in the season? I mean, in two quarterback leagues, super flex for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, single quarterback, probably not. I, I don't I don't see him as a top 12 option. Yeah, and it's a little late in the season too. It's just a little bad for Lamar Jackson owners. But, I mean, it was you were getting what you were going to get out of Lamar Jackson anyways, really. Yeah. Uh, moving on to the next piece of news out of San Francisco, Mr. Jimmy Garoppolo injured his foot and is likely done for the rest of the season. Uh, he may have avoided a Liz Frank injury that the team initially feared, but either way, the team's probably going to shut him down for the remainder of the season. Uh, they had Mr. Irrelevant come in there and finish out the game for him, continue the win, Mr. Brock Purdy. First Mr. Yep. Irrelevant ever to throw a touchdown in a game, so... Is that true? I think so. I saw that stat uh, yesterday, pretty cool. I believe. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Pretty good shit. Yeah. Yeah, I um it, it seems like they're just gonna keep keep on rolling. Um it, it's definitely a downgrade, but it's not like Jimmy Garoppolo was setting the world on fire. Um so that team should be just fine. As far as Jimmy Garoppolo and his injuries specifically, we were talking about this before we started recording. Um it, it seems like regardless of what we hear back as far as his injury news, they're they're gonna shut him down. He he's probably gonna be done for the season, but um like you mentioned, they initially feared that it was going to be that list Frank injury, which comes with a much longer return timetable. Um, and it's just, you know, something that you want to try to avoid, obviously. But it seems like that might not be the case anymore. So pretty positive for him. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Kyle Shanahan losing like Jimmy Garoppolo, because they've just been kind of a weird dynamic duo that I feel like the team hasn't won it, but they've needed. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well put. <laughs> yeah. Also, just a quick uh, revision. Brock Purdy, first Mr. Irrelevant to throw a touchdown pass in a regular season NFL game. So maybe there was one along the line that okay. threw one in a playoff game. I'm not sure, but... Or like preseason. Or preseason, yeah. Potentially. Either, yeah. But Who knows? First regular season NFL game touchdown from Mr. Irrelevant. So shout out Brock Purdy. Pretty cool. Yep. Moving on, we've got our favorite injury denier, whatever this guy is. we got this, Pete Carroll. This motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, Pete Carroll again. Uh, he's saying that Kenneth Walker jammed his ankle. Jammed his ankle. What? <laughs> <laughs> but then, uh, about two hours after that report, 
There was another comment that Pete Carroll made that said it wasn't an ankle injury, but that it was a foot sprain and said, said it was an unusual case he's never seen before. Now we got uh, Dr. Deepak Chona on Twitter. Shout out to him. Check him out for fantasy football relevant injury news and updates. Uh, on Twitter, it says it looks like a low ankle sprain, which means he misses one game, if any at all. And this is one we should kind of monitor closely throughout the week because we're just unsure of what's going on at all. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Pete. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you never know what you're going to hear out of that guy's mouth. He never knows what's going on. I don't think he even consults the doctors before going on the podium and just spouting whatever he wants to say jammed his ankle i've never once heard that before yeah that doesn't uh, even make sense to me to be honest with you so there were some people speculating that based on that terminology it's possible that like his uh what would that be either tibia or fibula i think tibia whichever one is like the lower the lower bone like jammed down into his foot mm -hmm. so it would have been more like a bone bruise or something but then he comes out and says it's a foot sprain so we really have no idea what the fuck is happening Shout out i don't know that i can provide any clarity <laughs> but like you said we need to monitor this one closely because who knows what's gonna happen with kenneth walker yeah pete carroll a1 liar since day one <laughs> I, you gotta kind of love it out of pete it, it, it amuses yeah. me every single time he, uh, he knows what he's doing he's he's just being hilarious on purpose yeah, <laughs> and then moving on to another coach that just doesn't lie whatsoever. Uh, I know you saw that one clip where he was talking to two, and he was like, oh, I fucked up. That was on me. Not some shit you He's see such out a of a good coach, coach man. too often, bro. Yeah, that shit made me want to go play dope. for him, bro. Yeah. But we got Mike McDaniel of the Dolphins. Uh, he's saying that he's going to be mindful of not pushing Tua too hard in practice. Tua hard this, in practice this week uh, after he hurt his ankle <laughs> late in the game on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> all right <laughs> um yeah so just uh people were a little bit nervous about Tua. he got hurt late in the game but um they were just saying it's just their way of saying they don't think it's too serious but they're not going to push him too hard to try to get him back out there on the field they're going to take it day by day to see how it goes so mike mcdaniel <laughs> taking some precautions i'm sorry for that pun guys we can just we can move not on from that it's not too a serious. Okay. Oh, All right. Let's let's no. let's keep it going. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> let's keep it going. On to Jalen Waddle. <laughs> All right. Next piece of news for the Dolphin. We've got uh Jalen Waddle uh called his leg injury that he sustained during the game part of the game. And notes that he should be ready to go against the Chargers. Um so I guess not too serious of injury news coming out of Jalen Waddle. I guess it's just, you know, he got banged up. He's just saying it was a routine play. Keep an eye on it throughout the week and see what the team has to say about the injury. But I guess as far as Jalen Waddle's concerned, he will be out there next week. So it shouldn't be too, too much of an update. You have you think about it, anything about this one? I feel like Jalen Waddle always has some sort of injury designation. He's going to be one of those yeah, guys. Yeah, so that, that's one thing. But also, you never trust the players when it comes to injury. They're yeah. always <laughs> going to be optimistic. They always are going to say they're going to play because that's all they want to do is get out there and play. They're not worried about, you know, re-injury, hurting themselves, whatever. Uh, so him saying it's part of the game, like, that's cool and all. But, like, one, we don't have any specifics on what his leg injury actually is. And, two, we haven't heard from the team as far as what it's going to be, what sort of timeline we're dealing with. So... I'm definitely going to be monitoring this one closely if I'm a Jalen Waddle owner. Um, like you said, I, I think this one leads leans more towards like the optimistic side of the spectrum. He probably will be okay, but I'm I'm just waiting to see. Yeah, and then another wide receiver who is, I get we're not really Jalen Waddle isn't officially day to day, but I'm sort of considering it at least for the moment. But we got Cortland Sutton of the Denver Broncos is considered officially day to day with a hamstring injury. <coughs> So they're just going to keep an eye on that going week to week. Again, I don't really give a fuck about anybody coming out the Broncos camp. So I'm going to let Eric <laughs> talk about this one if he wants to talk about it. But I'm not talking about I mean, no team that put up nine points. Yeah, as much as I want to agree with you, I have Cortland Sutton on some teams. I had hyped <laughs> him up in the offseason. So I, I do have a fairly good uh, mm -hmm. exposure to Cortland Sutton in fantasy. This one does suck. I feel like he his role in the offense has been good. He's mm -hmm. been earning a good amount of targets. They're just coming from a uh, terrible quarterback in a horrendous offense, and so it hasn't led to too much for fantasy purposes, unfortunately. Um, and this hamstring injury, 
isn't going to help that. I would imagine he's probably going to miss this week, or at least he should, because these hamstring injuries tend to linger if you don't give them adequate time to recover. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's kind of my synopsis. We'll, we'll see what the team says. They haven't gotten too specific about it, but I would imagine he's probably going to miss at least a week. Yeah, I guess so we'll keep we'll monitor that one throughout the week. But fine, fucking the Broncos are an absolute shit show over there, man. Mm-hmm. And that. I'm sorry, it's just it's a quick tangent, bro, because I feel like I can't get through <laughs> any type of fucking talks oh, yeah. without talking about the fucking Broncos. But it is insane to me that that man's extension doesn't even kick in until, like, what, after next year? Not even next year, yeah. but after next year. Yep. He's going to be making $50 million in two years. Yeah. After this it's, season. It's bad. I mean, you've heard the bathroom narrative, right? The bathroom narrative? No, what's that? Well, he's he's got... 12 bathrooms in his house, but he's only scored nine touchdowns this season. Jesus, he's got less touchdowns so the, than bathrooms. The bathrooms are leading the way. <laughs> the, he's thrown eight. He's rushed for one. Uh, so, yeah, he's, he still hasn't thrown as many touchdowns as he has bathrooms in his home. Yeah, and I think with that being said, I don't even think there's any more I've really got to say, man. Fucking fuck Russell Wilson. That's that. Uh, <laughs> and only half the team showed up to his birthday party, so... <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. All right, moving on to a team who I think everybody would show up to the quarterback's <laughs> birthday party. We've got uh, Matt LaFleur of the Packers. Says Aaron Jones should be good to go after the bye week. Uh, he re-aggravated his shin injury against the Bears, but LaFleur is saying that he could have returned to the game if they needed him. They just didn't need him because A.J. Dillon was a monster for the remainder of the game. I think after he got hurt, Aaron Jones still got a couple more touches, didn't he? I think he got two more carries. I th- I think so. Yeah. yeah, they like tried to get him back in there, and then it, I think they just realized that you know AJ Dillon was rolling, like you said, and they mm-hmm. didn't really need to risk him. Yeah, no need in even risking it. And so that's helpful for Aaron Jones owners. Anybody who was scared to see him go down, he should be back soon. So brighter days are ahead. And moving on to the Jaguars, uh, we got Sunshine, Mister <laughs> Mister Trevor Lawrence. Uh, had what looked to be a scary injury on Sunday. Went down, grabbed the back of his. People were saying he was grabbing his knee, I believe. People thought it was it a was, knee injury at first. Yeah, it was It was strange. He got rolled up on really bad, and it looked mm-hmm. like his foot got caught up under the defender. It looked like maybe his ankle turned a weird way. His knee also got kind of twisted. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I don't think most of us were really sure what was happening, um, but I'll let you continue because he did end up returning to the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was able to return, like you said, and he's – scheduled to get an MRI on his foot. I don't think it's happened quite yet, but all signs okay. are positive that he's trending in the right direction. So uh, that's per Doug Peterson, that they are testing it, but I think he's going to be okay, and he should be back out there on the field. Just some minor news, but something to keep an eye on. And yeah. I, in some of the – yeah, do you, what, do you, what else you got for that one? Do you have anything else for that one right there? No, I don't, I don't really have anything to add. I, I'm just glad that it wasn't as bad as it looked. It, it was definitely something that when I saw it, I was like, Ew, that could be like a season ender. Uh, but no, it turns out he's probably fine. Yeah, the reports the reports made me nervous because if that would have happened, I wouldn't have had a quarterback in Dynasty whatsoever because no one on my team is playing. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> need, to, need to unlock Jameis, man. They need to get him back out there. I need Jameis on a different team, bro. I need somebody who <laughs> needs a gunslinger, who needs an athlete, bro. You, you need that Geno Smith career arc for Ex- Jameis right now. Exactly, except I feel like Jameis's ceiling is so much higher than Geno Smith's. But you know, that's, that's saying a lot considering the way Geno's playing right now. Hey, man. I mean, J- Jameis one of the few quarterbacks in NFL history with 5,000 yards. Sure, he threw 30, and interceptions. 30 interceptions. No, but. <laughs> <that's>... <laughs> All right, nah, one right. of one of only nobody else to throw 30 interceptions <laughs> in a season. <laughs> But no, I feel you. Greatest quarterback of all time. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, come yeah, on, yeah. man. Come on, man. You just you just got to see it. You got to see it. <laughs> but talking about quarterbacks that, that have disappointed the with goat. their potential. <laughs> <laughs> quarterbacks that I revere way higher than I should. Uh, we got Baker Mayfield was released by the Panthers. Uh, he's expected to be claimed off of waivers as of today, Tuesday, December Why? 6th. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I well, don't know why anybody would want to claim him. Yeah, and I don't know. At this point, I don't know who's going to claim him. I don't know what role they're going to claim him for because, one, it's week. we're going into week 14. 
it's, yeah. it's going to be tough for him to learn any playbook and be any type of efficient, any type of usable, any type of anything for the rest of the season. Yeah. Um, I guess they'd only be – I think they said the 49ers were going to cover some of his contract, but they whatever team picked him up would still have to cover like $1.35 or something. Yeah. Um, it's just – I don't know who's going to pick him up. And even the 49ers who – Starting Mr. Irrelevant at quarterback, picked up Josh Johnson yesterday as a free agent, are saying, yeah, we look into everything, and I don't think we're – it's not likely. I'd be surprised if we pick him up, to be honest with you. Josh Johnson's a baller, bro. Yeah. Josh Johnson's a stud compared to Baker Mayfield. (laughs) It's just – Baker Mayfield, the arc was absolutely insane. The highs were high, but the Baker Mayfield show may be over. He's going to get picked up by somebody, but he's not going to do anything. Wait, do yeah. you think do you think Baker Mayfield to the Jets? <laughs> that would be disgusting. Uh no. I think <laughs> they believe in Mike White enough and okay. Joe Flacco enough okay. to not pick him up. But that'd be that would be hilarious if they did a little Sam Darnold Baker Mayfield swap. Yeah. That'd be that'd be a fun time. Yeah. But uh, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not expecting much out of fuck. I'm not expecting much out of Baker Mayfield anymore, bro. Maybe, maybe next yeah. year. You know, maybe we have to let the chip fully sink in don't, on his shoulder. Don't do that to yourself. Don't the set yourself chip, up for the failure. Fully sink don't in. do that. Stop. That Stop chip it. was it, the chip Stop was it. planted on his Stop. shoulder, but now it is firmly <laughs> sunk in. Quilliam, <laughs> please stop talking. <laughs> but that's enough bullshitting from me. Baker's not gonna do shit. And we appreciate you guys. That's going to round out our news and injuries for this week. There wasn't really a whole lot to talk about. Um, Everything else is just updates. Keep an eye on it. People like Mike Williams, people like Joe Mixon, just keep an eye on their situations and see if they get cleared to play this week. Mike Williams should be back to practice this week as well. So who knows if he'll play. Maybe he won't. Who fucking knows, man? But we're here to give you guys the news as we see it and as we get it delivered from these teams and from these officials who get these news. So thank you for watching. Uh, with that being said, follow us on socials. Check out the description. You'll find our links to our Twitters. You'll be able to find a uh, link to our TikTok where we do some of our short form content. We have a spin the wheel challenge, stuff like that, just to get more content out to you guys. And um, yeah, Eric, you got anything else for the people before we go? Yeah, just do all that good YouTube stuff for us. That would be much appreciated. Like, comment, subscribe, engage with us, be part of the community. We love all that stuff. Um, we're, we're giving out free fantasy football advice on here, on TikTok, on Twitter, wherever you reach out to us. No paywall, none of that. Just hit us up and we'll answer your questions. So engage with us, help us out that way. Um, and yeah, thanks for sticking with us till the end. We love you as always. Thank you for dealing with me and my first video back and all my bullshit. I'm just happy to be back here talking shit with my boy, Will. Hell yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll roll right into our next video that we're recording. Uh, check out our what is it week 13 recap Mm -hmm. coming at you soon so yeah we'll catch you in that one peace peace